Hi guys, so I just thought I'd uh, make a little video today as we're in the Christmas build up regarding how to eat and how to manage your lifestyle and nutrition around the holidays and around Christmas. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because, you know, people who aren't particularly health conscious are unlikely to be watching this video. But for the health conscious individual, navigating the Christmas holidays can be a bit of a challenge. Uh, often people get feelings of guilt when they eat these bad foods, and if, if they choose not to altogether, they have you know completely different feelings of potentially deprivation and uh, and social exclusion if they don't join in with the, with the festivities. Um, so we've got these two extremes here, really. And uh, it need not be like this at all. Um, the main piece of advice I'm going to give is simply don't let your nutritional principles fall to pieces. Keep your foundation the same. So if you do other stuff, and by other stuff I mean you eat unpermitted and non-permitted foods on top of your already healthy diet, whether it be roast potatoes or you want to have a bit of Christmas pudding or some chocolate or immerse yourself in mulled wine, if you do these things in addition to a healthy baseline diet, well, it's your choice and it's really not the end of the world. The problem is when people completely fall off the wagon. So just because you have these things, it doesn't mean you need to stop training. It doesn't even mean you need to stop eating your protein or consuming enough vegetables. The, the point is, keep the foundation there. And if you choose to do other things on top of that, well, that's fine. If there's any time of year to do it, it's now. There are, of course, exceptions, such as, you know, perhaps gluten consumption in, in the case of an autoimmune condition or if you've got celiac or, or mulled wine if you're a recovering alcoholic or excessive sugar if you're insulin resistant. But even in these cases, there are things you can do. So, for instance, the, the gluten issue, which I brought up just now, there are, there are plenty of recipes where you can replace wheat flour with coconut flour or almond flour and essentially still join in and still eat the same things, just cook them in a different way. So as long as you're savvy about things, there's usually a way you can compromise. Um, but when it comes to, once again, I'm going to get quote-unquote unhealthy food, for the majority of us, when there's no overwhelming reason not to eat these foods ever, as in, it's not, it's not going to kill us once. If there's no overwhelming reason not to have these foods, other than the fact that your nutrition simply isn't as tight and clean as usual, well, there's not going to be any long-term health consequence to indulging in a little bit of this and a little bit of that around Christmas. As long as it is only a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You see, psychological health is important too. It's not just about physical health. So a compromise where the two come together may be what you want to do. But it needs to make sense with you and your life. Not because your trainer has told you that you need to follow this diet or follow paleo principle or because you've read on the internet something about this, or something about that. At the end of the day, Christmas is about enjoying yourself. And like I've, I'm going to echo what I previously said again, provided you're not doing yourself any harm, it really doesn't matter if you don't do things quite as well as you would do the rest of the year. I'm sure I, I've been asked over the past few weeks, what am I going to do around Christmas? Am I going to eat this? Am I going to eat that? Uh, tr truth be told, it doesn't really matter what I'm going to do. If you must know, I will probably have a few more drinks than usual. I will have some Christmas pudding on Christmas Day because I like it. But other than that, I'm not going to do things any differently. If you are very intent on keeping a very, very sound and strict diet over the holidays for whatever reason, that's absolutely fine. 
if on the other hand you want to indulge more than what I'm doing, that's fine too. It does not make you a bad person. All I am saying is do not fall to pieces over the holidays. Keep your foundational nutrition the same. And if you're going to eat some unhealthy foods, have a bit of sugar, desserts, more carbohydrates than you're used to, that's fine. But don't go overboard.